I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on carboxy acids. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Dad Destroyer book. I want to go over with you four really solid reactions that you're going to need for the DAT exam. So come on over and let's have a look and let's go through them. Now, the first reaction, we have a strong oxidizing agent called potassium permanganate and acid. And what you're going to do if you have a benzene ring, anything that's attached to the benzene ring goes off as CO2. Now, as you can see, you have one group here and one group here coming off each of the benzene rings. So both of them get burnt to a carboxy acid. And as you can see what I've done, if I label this number one, and I label this number one, we burned both number ones off. And of course we kept this bond. So you're gonna oxidize the side chain. That's a tricky question, I thought. Okay, in order to do number two, I'm gonna just erase number one. So make sure you got that down. All right. Now, this one I wanted to do with you. Now, you have iodine and base on a methyl ketone. I hope you remembered in the destroyer, I have a lot of these questions. This is called the haloform reaction. Haloform, in one of my other tapes, I did a nice video on this, on the mechanism. You take off this, and that would give me this. So you've knocked off a methyl, and then the byproduct, if you remembered, would be the yellow iodo form. All right, once you got this, you then acidify it, and then that would give me my cyclopentane carboxylic acid. And then I added another little twist on here. What I did here was I want to reduce it. Now, whenever you reduce an acid, we usually use lithium aluminum hydride, and that'll reduce down into a primary alcohol. You add H's. So you can almost envision if you got rid of the carbonyl and added H's on. So you end up with the alcohol. Number three is an interesting question. Now, whenever you see an acid and an alcohol, usually they're going to join together to form an ester. So what you're going to do is you're going to take off this OH and this H. So if I have the O here, you can see this O is here. And then if you took this off and this off, and you joined them together, you would come up with this, and this is a cyclic ester, and we would call this a lactone. Okay, the last question is not in the Dat Destroyer book, and next year's version, um, in the 2019 version, I am going to have this reaction in here. Um, as a safe bet. This reaction is going to be known as the hell volhard zelinsky reaction. hell volhard zelinsky Try to say that a few times. And what we're going to do is we're going to have chlorine with a catalytic amount of phosphorus. Usually it's in the form of phosphorus trichloride and then water. What you're going to do on a problem like this, you got to focus on the P. If you saw there's a phosphorus catalytic amount, you know to do hell von hans -Zelinsky. You're gonna remove the alpha hydrogen and replace it with the halogen. So if you use bromine and PBR3, you would have put on a BR. Iodine and PI3, you would have put on an iodine. It doesn't work for fluorine, but this is a great way to do what we call alpha halo substitution. So if I were you, what I would do is go to your dad destroyer book, go to the organic section and add this reaction on or in the beginning of the destroyer book where it says the 25 most commonly asked reactions or I don't know, whatever we call them, the must have reactions. Make sure you put this in your toolkit, the Helvo Hans Zelinsky reaction. All right, good day to you. I'll see you in study group.